We're standing at what's known around here as the old buck farm. This is 45 acres of the original farm, which was much bigger. This is our herb garden over here. Over there is our fruit garden, which is right now under the snow and under a lot of manure. I've written a new novel called OK For Now. OK For Now is a companion book more than a sequel. You really don't need anything from Wednesday Wars to figure out what's going on in this. Each one is meant to be independent with a crossover of some characters. Wednesday Wars is set in 1967, 1968. And in this book, it follows the next year, 68, 69. The book follows Doug Swiatek. Doug is struggling with a new place. He is the new kid in town and all the things that that means. He has no friends there yet. He's very concerned about school, going into eighth grade. Has a family which is exploding has a brother who's fighting in Vietnam. He's in a place where he is very, very uncomfortable. What Doug wants to do in the novel is to find the nine plates that are missing from this original Audubon volume and bring them back. And in that sense, the novel is really about wholeness. Can he bring it back, all those plates back, so that he will have a whole Audubon book and be perfect? That mirrors his desire to become a whole person and reflects some of the, I think, themes of the book in that sense. In addition, it's about a time when the country's at war. It's a war which seems intractable and unending. It's a war which seems to be against not just a nation, but a kind of movement. And in many ways, that's where our middle school kids are right now. OK For Now has the added thing going on of the space shot. In the midst of that craziness, this amazingly noble experiment. I mean, can we do it? This is a different kind of survivor novel. How do you survive in a, in a hostile place? And certainly there are kids who live like that, either in their home or in their school environment. It seems to me that it's important to write books that tell those kids' stories as well. Before anything else, a book has to be a good story. You have to get the reader to say, what happens next? Or you get the reader to say, I can hardly wait to turn the page. I mean, that's the big thing. Writing is wonderful. It is, it's a huge part of my life, and it is a great joy to me. And I feel I, it invigorates me. The more difficult thing is to figure out how the writing can fit into the cracks of all the business of your life. And I've run out of things to say. <laughs> <laughs>